Settle yourself in, get yourself on the trainer, whatever you need to do, because what I wanna do is we'll tell the story of a race weekend. We haven't done one like this for ages because we haven't had something like this to talk about for ages. Here we go, we're gonna talk about the New South Wales Masters State Championships from beginning to end, my story, let's do it. So, what do you need to bring? What do you need to bring on a race weekend for an event like this? Well, why not ask a six-year-old and a four-year-old? What does Dada have to remember to take with him on the bike race? Um, supplies. Supplies. Number two. Um, his bike. A bike. That's brilliant. Number three. His cycling shoes. Cycling shoes. Helmet. Helmet. Very good remembering, his Kira. Cycling. Cycling clothes, very good, Catherine Lee. Water bottles. Water bottles. How many water bottles do you think? Two. Two. Two water bottles. No, no, three. 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 Food. three. Food. food. Need food. Wait, that's the supplies. supplies. That's the supplies. Okay. I know. The last thing you have to bring is one red carrot. You gotta bring the carrot with you. You gotta bring the carrot with you. You gotta bring it with you. No. no. So from that, you probably gathered that the troops are not coming to the race. We have done it as a family in the past. It was an absolute disaster. It was probably too early. The kids were too young. I think we're probably well and truly capable of doing it again. But just with the year being this year, no, nah, just, just keep it simple, stupid. So with everything remembered, thanks to the girls, it was another smart decision to head up the M1 on a Friday afternoon. For anyone looking to overnight in Singleton, I can 100% recommend the Mid-City Motor Inn. No problems. No problems at all. Beautiful. It's got a pool. I think it does. It's got a pool. It's got a pool. I haven't visited the pool. Gonna get myself ready for bed. But I am gonna run a camera tomorrow, but I'm gonna run the Sony. Now, the main reason I'm gonna run this is because, well, it's form factor, which is not as like bulky as the GoPro tends to be. The battery life's really good, and I've said this to you before, it keeps everything in one file, so I don't have to go looking for lots and lots of different files. It's just easier in the back end. So we'll try this one tomorrow, and hopefully we'll be somewhere towards the pointy end that some of the content are relatively relevant. All right? All right, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you in the morning for race day. Good morning then. So a short drive out, only about 15 minutes, and then we'll, uh, we'll have a quick chat about this race, what we're here for, what we're looking forward to, and we're back. We're in Singleton, which is about two and a half, well, that's three hours after that stitch up of a drive. Yeah, spent the night up here last night, chilled out, well, about to sign on, and we're looking at, I think, about 120k road race. Don't think we'll be out of the uh, big ring all day, unfortunately, but yeah, first actual road race in ages, I'm stoked. Good strong field. Surname? Chris Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R. Christopher. Yes. You're from Sydney Uni? I am. And you're riding today and tomorrow? Correct. No problem. Super stuff. Right. And have you got someone helping you? I don't, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was... I do have a bottle. Um, do you, is there anyone offering their services, do you know? Or should I, I ask don't around? know. I don't know Okay. Who. I don't know if it's just myself down here, obviously. And they are doing a feed zone. But I don't have anyone who needs to do that. So we might uh, ask around or just battle it away with two bottles, huh? on this for a while, pinning a number on it guys, how exciting. Yeah, it's like one of my biggest challenges today is on such a flat course, it's a really, really strong field of guys who roll big gears, so I'm going to try and be quite patient today, I think's the the theory, um, and see how that sort of unfolds. 
I've got the bike camera on, so I will try and edit as I go along, because obviously I can't use it for the whole race. So hopefully I'll capture it the moments. Apart from that, um, yeah, I think we're just going to have fun, get the get the road racing legs back, because hopefully there's going to be a bit more of this as the year sort of unfolds. It's interesting, I'm not particularly nervous at all about this, so it should be fun. Alrighty. No tactics today, I just want to really do a good bike race. A few people I'm sort of, will keep an eye on. Types of people who can ride like long breakaway days. But uh, apart from that, it's a big field, it's over 50. So just be good to be back in a bunch of that size. Get a feel for it again. Look at this day though. Look at this. This is what you want to be doing. Stuff those bloody crates. All right, let's go. I just don't think it's worthwhile running a bike camera for a road race. It's a three hour race. No bike camera is gonna last that much. So I'm sort of there trying to direct it. Someone says to me at some point during the race that they saw me turn the camera on, right? So I turned the camera on and he goes, does this mean you're about to attack? And I'm just kind of like, actually it does. <laughs> like. Had a good look at the course now after three laps when the race was still pretty much all together. My my big attack or my big attempt was on the, the one climb, and I say climb because I'm still in the big ring going up it, was on the last lap with a full lap to go. You kind of came up this little this little rise and got, got some space, held on to it. There was a guy up in front who I sort of tried to bridge to, to maybe work as a two for a bit. Didn't quite get to him before the bunch caught me. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, I thought that was pretty much my race run because a lot of the rest of the course was a headwind before a fast tailwind finish where the, the sprinters and stuff would be able to take over. That said, we, we all still raced pretty aggressively. Guys were, guys were pretty tired and, you know, the actual moment that we got away was, was quite strange in the sense that um, Matthew, who I, I rode to the finish line with, did one of his sort of attacks, counter attacks, he's very good at counter attacking, got 50 or 100 meters just on a slight drag up and I was towards the front and I thought, you know, I'd been letting Matthew go a bit and I thought I'll just sort of try one more time to, to go hard over to him and I whacked it over to him and it was just happened to be the one that, that wasn't followed and as soon as we got there, this is this is something that maybe I will talk about Masters Racing in the sense that Matthew is amazing at this. He just commits. There's, you know, sometimes when you, you get away with someone, you're kind of feeling each other out for a bit. You're a bit like, is he really committed? Do I, should I push that hard? Because maybe he's not, with, with Matthew, you know he's going all in, which just gives you so much more confidence to go, you know what, I'm going all in as well. And we had to. We only had, you know, 10, 15 Ks a very, very small gap. The guys, the, the bunch was still very much just behind us. The other thing Matthew does really well, and this is maybe another little breakaway comment, is when he would come through, because when you would do a turn, you were ending yourself at the end of your turn. You know what I mean? Like just, we were making noises no one else wanted to hear, you know? He wouldn't surge over the top of you, forcing you to then absolutely go red line to get back on his wheel, because the next time you do a turn, that would sort of play in the back of your mind and you would hold something back. He was really good, you know, making sure he'd come through, get on the front and then start ramping up. Like a team time trial, in a sense. I mean, that's the way a team time trial is, is, is ridden. It's without a surge. And that gives, again, it gives you just confidence to ride harder and harder and harder and not rip each other's legs off. I'm sort of on the front coming into probably about a K to go and he's got a really good slingshot to, to go over this last little pinch and he had a really good crack at it to, to get away from me. And I went very, very deep to, to get back onto him. Again, made some horrific noises to, to try and do it and just got onto his wheel as we crested. Quickly looked around, saw that we had, well, time to sort of play around a bit and backed off him a bit, uh, saw the finish line, and just went for it. Well, luckily for me, I did, and 
managed to take the win. Yeah, I'm actually pretty stoked. Uh, I'm stoked, got to have Machu. Machu, oh man, what a legend. Just rips in, gets the job done, and we just duked it out the last 400 meters, so stoked. Yee, I'm gonna race. Oh my God, racing for bikes for three hours is so much harder. It was, I just love that about like road racing, that you have those good moments, bad moments, moments of why am I bothering, moments of elation. It's like, that's what bike racing is all about. What do you do in Singleton for an afternoon? Well, I'm gonna get some food to start with. Will give me a bit of a chance to talk to you guys just a little bit about race food, race fueling, because I was chatting to a few people after the race and I was blowing their brains with how much food I ate during that race. So, so for that race, guys, uh, three hours. I didn't get a feed from the side of the road, so it was just um, the two bottles. Now, two 750 ml bottles both bottles with four scoops of Proformance drink. Now, that's a lot. That's, well, that's physically a lot. Like, it's probably like over a cup and a half of like actual powder in your drink bottle. And, but that only equates really to just over 100 grams of carbs per bottle. So I really try and work on, in these races, like 100 grams of carbs per hour. On top of that, I went through eight gels. <clears throat> You've all just fallen off your chairs. And, you know, again, that's only then, that just gets me to 300 grams. And that's sort of the bare minimum. So, and I'm not kind of saying this is in like, you know, this is the trick, this is why I won the round. The reason I won the race is because Matthew pulled some amazing turns and we worked really well at the end and that's the reason. But I see guys on the start line and I see guys with like one bottle and two gels for a three hour bike race. And I'm like, what? I know I'm going to beat you. Like, I know I'm going to feel better than you in the last three hours. Like, you can't do that. Your body doesn't store that much glycogen. <laughs> like, it doesn't work that way. Well, I don't need to turn you down. You can come up here. Fun numbers fact for you, okay? So, I have done three Nash, uh, state championships. Not all, so two in orange and one here. I've been lucky enough to win all three of them. On each of these occasions, right, every year, I have normalized 290 watts for three and a half hours, right? So approximately five watts per kilo for three and a half hours to win it every year. And that's as hard as pretty much any three hour bike race I'd ever done. Really stoked to be back positive about state racing again. Uh, we haven't always seen eye to eye, have we? <laughs> All right, crit tomorrow, hey? Pressure's off. YouTube vloggers, nice work, Mr. Dowsett. So yeah, I could just uh, just this is a lazy old stuff. I don't know what to do with myself. Um, yeah, so it's Sunday. This is today's the crit. Our race is until like two o'clock today. So I'm going to try and go for a bit of a ride out there in Broke. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. But I'm going to grab a coffee this morning and. I was chatting to some of the people there yesterday and we were talking a little about feed zones because there was a feed zone in action today, which reminded me, which reminded me, Luke Mannion, of our feed zone story. The first race Luke ever came to was uh, Masters Nationals two years ago, I reckon. Yeah, it been two years ago. And, or States, two years ago in Orange. And there was a feed zone. I said, Luke, Come through for me, lap three, you hand me a Coke or water. Now, 
you can already tell I've already made the mistake because I've given an option. So we've had this discussion. Anyway, I've come through lap three. <laughs> come on, put my hand out. Look, 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 look. And he's got the two things in his hand, right? He's got the Coke and he's got his water. And he's like, oh, which one? Which one? Because I just assumed he'd kind of put two hands out. Anyway, which one? Which one? I'm just like, Coke, Coke. And he go, I go past. He panics and just throws it at me. Just like, cool, thanks. I must say, since then, one of the best feed zone feeders out there. But, uh, and you'll see it like at these sort of events because you got wives, girlfriends, husbands who don't actually come to bike races. And uh, therefore, that, I was listening to Dwayne and his wife chatting before the race. She's like, which lap, blah, blah, blah. What do I do? It's like, oh dear, just don't throw it at him. That's all I can ask. I feel if someone came into the hotel room and saw this current situation, it could be some issues. This is what I do with a skin suit in particular. I just put a pillow. I actually stuff the pillow into the skin suit to mimic the human. And, uh, and do the pin the numbers from there. I wouldn't normally bother if it's just the rear one, but the way New South Wales Cycling do it is you have to have one like up here, which is super annoying. So I find it easier to do this. Otherwise you kind of get it up here and it flaps about where you rip the jersey and that kind of stuff. So anyway, let's hope no one comes in. Yo, so we just, uh, just a nice little warm up ride. And yeah, we're gonna crack on now with the crit. 40 minutes plus a couple of laps. So I've got the bike camera on, so hopefully we'll get some action. But yeah, my plan is just to be uh, have fun. Pro tip, when you've parked in a field in Australia, in regional Australia, in summer or spring or autumn, this is full of bindies. Bindies puncture tires i'll be carrying my bike over there so we rolled out in this crit and it was just on it's just on from the gun small splits going away coming back as soon as they come back another attack happening there's no sort of sense of like watching who and who it was just everyone having an absolute rip in i can easily say to you it's the best masters crit i've ever done which is kind of funny considering like I didn't get a result or anything. I'm standing in front of you and saying it was like one of the best crits I've ever done, but I really enjoy bike racing. So that's just the nature of, look, it's a crazy moment though. I hope the camera picks this up. Like, so we're all kind of out now, feet coming into the last lap and there's only six or seven of us in the, the front at the end. And uh, it's one of those courses where it's first to the corner, we'll win the sprint. Okay, first of the corner wins the sprint. Now Kev absolutely whacks it into the corner. He gets the first position into the corner, rails around the corner. We're all sort of just in behind him. Goes to sprint and he clips out. Like he comes out of his cleat and then it's miraculous. So we're just behind him thinking, oh, this is it. This is tears. We're all going down here. Miraculously, in the same motion, he's clipped back in and continued on his sprint. To, to win or get on the podium. It's like, holy hell. That's, um, that's one of the best Masters crits I think I've ever done. That was just aggressive from the gun. Fantastic, like, it's good. I think we've got a nice little group of guys in this division now that just want to really go at it. So, man, I'm going to do a podium, man. So that's my story of the weekend, a weekend where I actually won a bike race. I know pigs might have flown at some point throughout the weekend, but guys, again, thank you so much for watching this. I really, really enjoyed bringing you this and doing the racing. So yeah, hopefully there's lots more of this to come. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. It makes a massive difference. Share it to some of your mates. Would love that to happen. Apart from that, we'll see you out on the road super soon. Take care, guys.